New developments tonight in a Washington County case where a man is accused of brutally assaulting his girlfriend, holding her hostage in her home. He is out of custody tonight, released in just the last couple of hours. Authorities extremely concerned about apparently threatening comments he made on a recorded jailhouse phone call before his release. Our Paul Bloom has been following this case closely and has the very latest. He ripped off my clothes and jumped on top of me and started to strangle me um, to the point of unconsciousness several times. In an interview with me last week, Chandra McFarland detailed the alleged attack, describing a nightmare in her own Lake Elmo home. Held hostage for more than a day by then boyfriend David Powers. So you were what scared if you tried to leave? I he was hurt you more. terrified, and there was times I tried to escape, and he would just use his force against me and. Um, prevent me from doing so. Authorities have said it wasn't until McFarland's colleagues asked law enforcement to conduct a welfare check that she was able to safely flee. Powers was subsequently arrested and charged with kidnapping, rape, and domestic strangulation. His bail was set at two different levels, $500,000 with no conditions, only that he make his next court appearance, and then $300,000 with conditions that would include GPS monitoring and surrendering of his passports. According to prosecutors, he has Russian dual citizenship, Powers, who apparently owns his own roofing construction business, came up with a half million dollar bond to secure his release without any of the additional court imposed restrictions. If he gets out again, he is going to kill somebody and that was his intent to do with me. But before Powers left the Washington County Jail, officials said he made what appeared to be a threatening comment on a recorded phone call. Quote, I will get the people responsible for this. It prompted the parties to return to court on Tuesday where prosecutors argued they have grave concerns about McFarland's safety, demanding bail be increased. Powers' defense attorney objected, but the judge agreed with the state, slapping a slew of conditions on the $500,000 bond and doubling the unconditional amount to $1 million. In the end, the Washington County judge slapped some serious conditions on that half-million-dollar bond Powers posted in addition to GPS monitoring and surrendering his passports, he must stay away from drugs, alcohol, and firearms and receive written court permission if he wants to leave the state of Minnesota. Reporting from the newsroom, Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Another